which is 311. Gotcha. Uh, they are, are pretty much keeping a schedule of, the, of this and keeping track of everything for us. Or you can call the Douglas Police Department at 384-2222 uh, and ask for my office or Deputy Chief Brandon Pruitt's office. Uh, those are the, the main numbers to call in reference to this event uh, okay. if you want to sponsor or have questions concerning that. Okay. Well, great. Well, Chief, thank you today for um, coming on the show and sharing this information. And um, again, hats off to you all for bringing awareness to this domestic violence problems in our community. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back with more Douglas on my mind right after this break. TV 13. Programming is sponsored by Harper and Company Builders, serving Douglas and Coffee County for 29 years. And a proud sponsor of community programming. Storage Solutions, etc. Locally owned and operated and located at 1010 Bowens Mill Road, southeast in Douglas. American Truck Parts Incorporated, a proud sponsor of WDTV 13 program. Vickers Audio and Glass Tinning, supporting our local programming on WDTV 13. Aiden's Minute Market. When you're out, we're in. Prairie Daniels Insurance Agency. Fletcher Oil Company, since 1966, has been supporting local activities and a proud sponsor of community programming on WDTV 13. Fletcher Oil Company is a member of the Women's Business Enterprise National Council. Dewey Hayes Jr., attorney at law, selected to the top 100 trial lawyers in the state of Georgia. Earn your degree for less at South Georgia State College. At SGSC, we offer associate degree programs as well as Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences and a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Both bachelor degrees are offered at the associate level, tuition rate, and many financial aid options are available. Plus, classes are taught by credentialed professors who care about your success. Visit sgsc.edu to find out more and to set up your personal tour. South Georgia State College. You matter here. You're not who you used to be, and neither are we. With a caring staff, experienced doctors, and the most advanced technology, Coffee Regional Medical Center in Douglas, Georgia, is better than ever before. We're back from break, and joining me on the show now is Kevin Davis, who is the project manager with what we call ESG, but it's the Environmental Service Group. And uh, Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you here, and um, wanted to bring you on because in the community we have some citizens that have been experiencing what we call red water. If you would explain to everyone what is red water. Right, um, red water is a uh when you have a certain change in the pipes, mm -hmm. um, either the water flow direction mm -hmm. or um, a break in the line, uh, when you have large quantities of water moving in a different direction or velocity than it's normally accustomed to, mm -hmm. uh, what causes it through that is the uh, the aging infrastructure, the iron pipes mm -hmm. corroding, mm -hmm. and uh, you get that release of the uh, rust in the pipes, and it turns it red when you see it in the sink. Okay, well, one of the, well, several things out of this that the citizens need to know is that the city is working to correct the current problems that we have. But what what can be done um, whenever people experience red water? Um, what 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 is the city currently doing? Um, right now, we have a few different things we're working on. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's in any problem, there's long-term and short-term goals. Mm -hmm. um, 
short-term solution is uh, we're, we're doing some hydrant flushing in different neighborhoods. We're uh, trying to break loose all that tuberculation in the pipe so that it takes a larger issue to break more of it loose. Um, so we will be starting doing that in some different neighborhoods around town. Uh, we'll be notifying everybody, of course. Well, currently, which neighborhood are you working out of? Um, we will be working over in Golf Club, mm -hmm. North Pearl area. Uh, that's where we've had the most problems mm -hmm. lately. Um, that's where we're going to start. We'll work our way through town and hit them all eventually. Um, we're, we're implementing a flushing program, okay. which has never been done here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's something we would do once a year for fire hydrant testing, mm -hmm. uh, which is important for the city's ISO rating. But you also want to do it on an almost daily basis to keep those pipes clean and flowing so that you have both maximum pressure and flow and then also reduce red water issues. When you say a flushing program, how is that different from in the fire departments when they run the hydrants? Um, what, what the fire department does is they, they go out to the hydrants and will set a meter, mm -hmm. set a gauge on there, and they're, tr they're looking for volume and pressure. Okay. Um, they, they have to report all those to the states. So they can get their ISO rating to help our insurance as property owners go down. Uh, what we're doing is a uh, with the flushing program is actually breaking loose mm -hmm. all that rust and build up inside those pipes, mm -hmm. getting that out of there so you have a cleaner pipe, so you have less issues with red water when it does occur. Okay. How, how much time does it take um, going through the different neighborhoods to do the flushing programs? Um, does it depend on the size of the neighborhood? Yeah, a lot of it depends on what type area we mm -hmm. want to tackle. Um, what, what we're working on now is actually doing small enough areas we can do it overnight wait till everybody's done and gone to bed around 10:30, 11 o'clock mm -hmm. um, start flushing that night work all through the mm -hmm. night and then that morning everybody wake up to nice clean water won't know what happened okay so is how will people know that you're going to be coming to their uh, neighborhood uh, we're working on um, programs right now we'll be handing out door knockers um, hanging them up with the time and date of when we'll get started what areas we will be affecting um, we'll also be sending out notifications mm -hmm. through our Facebook page I uh, encourage everyone to get on that. You get all the latest stuff going on with the city. Um, we'll, we'll be sending out flyers and mm -hmm. different things. So we'll, we'll be trying to get as much information out there as we can. So whenever you go into a neighborhood and start the flushing, it may take less than 24, 48 hours Right, that's at what the we're, most. That's what we're working on is mm -hmm. just really targeting areas so that we can mm -hmm. get them done in a quick, efficient fashion without disturbing anyone else's water. Well, I've seen the door hanger and I know that it provides some tips on what the uh, customer could do for as like uh, with their appliances and not running the washing machine and different things. Anything you would like to elaborate today just in case someone missed the door hanger and you're in their area? Right. Um, big things to keep in mind is if you see red water, uh, notify us. 311 gets mm -hmm. you anything in the city. It'll get you any department you want to get a hold of. Um, Please don't wash your clothes when you see that. Uh, it can stain clothes. If you do happen to have a load in the laundry, uh, don't dry them. You can rewash them at a later time and most of it will come out mm -hmm. usually. Um, if it's white clothes, call us that same 311 number. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a iron out that we hand out to everyone so uh, they can get a hold of that. That takes it out of the white clothes. It doesn't work on color clothes, so you got to just rewash those. Um, as far as the health issues, uh, there's nothing wrong with the water as far as help standpoint goes but um i'd personally refrain from using it until you get right. clear water up um, usually you can run your faucet for about 15 20 minutes once the main's clear and it'll run clear in your house if it doesn't mm -hmm. give us a call we'll come mm -hmm. out make sure we're flushing everything like we're supposed to we may have missed a hydrant or something right so. right okay um well i know cities all across the nation um are having to deal with aging infrastructure mm -hmm. what is the city's uh plan um as part of our master plan rather to deal with this issue right um about almost eight or nine years ago i guess we started working on a master plan um put it together the City Commission, the directors at the time, and everyone was real forward thinking and mm -hmm. putting this together and trying to tackle this is issue before it you know, really blows up and you've got main breaks every day. Mm -hmm. um, we, we identified about 67 different projects to be addressed. Uh, so far we've addressed um, about 20 of those in the last four years. So it's a, it was a 20, 15, 20 year mm -hmm. master plan. We're trying to cut that down to a 10 or an eight year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're doing that through rate projects which is what we use um, water sales money for. Right. We're also doing it through CDBG grants which we just got one to do different neighborhoods and 
try to upgrade the water system there. Um, we're using SPOS dollars from the last SPOS that was uh, passed. That's been a huge help in getting mm -hmm. through all these things. Um, but what we're doing there is we're replacing these galvanized lines, these cast iron, these ductile iron, all the different styles of ferrous pipe with a PVC. So. And PVC, the lifespan of it is is much greater um, than what we currently have. Yeah, it's estimated with a 100-year uh, lifespan. Ductile iron's about 50 or 60. Um, ductile iron's a great pipe. Mm -hmm. it, it lasts a long time. However, it causes red water. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we've we've learned since January here in Douglas is uh, the water here is slightly corrosive. Um, on a uh, on a scale, it's like a 0.5, mm -hmm. which isn't terrible, or a negative 0.5, which isn't terrible. Um, once you get up into the negative fives and all, then you're looking at really okay. prob really serious problems. Uh, we're looking at ideas of possibly doing some chemical injections to neutralize that. So gotcha. that it, it does less wear and tear on the pipes. Mm -hmm. so okay. that, that's kind of an intermediate solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. When you have emergencies like the one we recently experienced, it just take you a little faster into the plan and you're ready to go. Right, yeah, <laughs> you, you kind of, yeah, no one knows where everything's at That's true. in the city. So uh, when, when you see these things, you go, oh, yeah, there's a pipe that we, we need to change out that mm -hmm. we, we didn't know previously, you know, what the, the uh, condition of it was. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that the city, uh, through the master plan, is continually working to improve, maintain, I should say, our, our solid water condition and to uh, replace the piping and all. But is there anything that our customers could do? Um, on their end, uh, you will see from time to time uh, older houses, uh, those that still have galvanized pipes, mm -hmm. um, you'll, you'll see that galvanized start to corrode. Same thing that's happened in our system happens in your mm -hmm. personal system at your house. Um, we've, we've had a few instances where you, you see it corrode down to where they have zero mm -hmm. water pressure. I mean, they, they literally turn the faucet on, nothing comes out. We, we run out there, we check the meter, we'll take it apart, open it up, see it's blowing mm -hmm. from the main. You know, we've got plenty of pressure at the meter at that point. It's something internal plumbing that we've got to work on. Um, we, something restricting the line inside. Right. We can help customers kind of troubleshoot and go through that and give them some ideas of how to repair it. Um, the same thing happens uh, with red water on the customer side that mm -hmm. happens on our side. Uh, we had one lady that uh, constantly had red water every time she'd, she'd run a load of clothes or flush the toilet. Hmm. And she was on a PVC main and a PVC service. So, everything her neighbors weren't having problems she was the only person got to doing some investigation found out that there was one piece of galvanized left she'd had the whole house replumbed but there's one about an inch long, wow and it, had, it had closed up so small that any hard pull through that line was breaking some of it loose every time so how about that we, we worked with her got that figured out mm -hmm. and hasn't had a problem since so mm. yeah it may be on our side um 90 percent mm -hmm. of the time it is but if it's on the customer mm -hmm. side, we can offer some suggestions and help to try to get them through that. Mm -hmm. And we do apologize to our citizens anytime they experience the red water. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we set out and you know want to create this um, environment for our right. citizens. But I will say that each incident that I have known of, um, the water ESG and the city of Douglas have responded very quickly to um, fix the problem and the solution. So if anyone um, is experiencing red water or you know of someone please encourage them as Kevin said to call our 311 customer care call center and they will get the calls to their appropriate office is there anything else we need to know um, about the red water um, before you leave today um, no just uh, I encourage everybody let us know uh, give us a call 311 Facebook whatever we got to do um, we'll get out as much information please follow the city Douglas Facebook page there's a lot of great information we can kind of give you a heads up on that before anything does go wrong that is true um, I know through the Facebook and and our website we try to get like kind of like first responder information yeah. out there as quickly as possible to our citizens because we don't have everyone's email but we know a lot of people use social media now on the website mm -hmm. rather than waiting for the newspaper or um, some other form of media to come out right. so that is true and um, just uh, bear with us when we do have these instances um, every day we're trying to improve this system we're, we're going to get it up to a you know one day we'll all be PVC and we'll be, you know, forgotten all about red water. But as we get to that process, just 
work with us. All right, Kevin. Well, um, you and ESG keep up the great work. Mm, thank you. All right, thank you. We'll be back with some closing announcements right after this break.